Max is four months old. I literally cannot believe it. We have had him for two months and already he has grown so much. When we got him, he must have been like literally four pounds. And I think he's closer to like 12 pounds right now, which is absolutely insane. But since my last three month puppy vlog, um, so much has absolutely changed. So let's just go ahead and talk a little bit about how our life has changed. One of them is just leaving him by himself for longer periods of time. So he gets used to being by himself and not having us be like right up on him or with him every second of the day. And he must have separation anxiety or something because the barking is one thing that we're still working on, but we did buy a few things um, and have worked on a few things to kind of counteract that. So let me show you one of the things that we bought to help with the barking. This is an anti-barking device. Um, it's made for outdoors, but if you put it on the lowest setting, it will work for indoors as well. So we just put it on one. I don't know if you can see those numbers right there, but we just put it on one. We have noticed such a big change just from using the device alone in just these two weeks. Um, it's not perfect and he still barks, but he doesn't bark as loudly, as intensely, and he doesn't bark for as long as he used to. But also when I do go back to work, we signed him up for doggy daycare and he's been going to doggy daycare for about three weeks. He really likes it there and every time I drop him off, the people who work there really just say how good he is and how awesome he is with the dogs. And that's fantastic for us because the socialization was such a big aspect that we were really worried about. So we're going to drop him off at doggy daycare once I do go to work and hopefully that will help him a little bit with being away from us for so long throughout the day. We also got two gates to keep Max only in the living room, so that way he doesn't go up the stairs and he doesn't go into the kitchen while we're cooking. In our previous apartment, our kitchen was so close to the living room and it was really hard for us because he would go right to the kitchen while we were cooking. And it was kind of problematic um, with the oven and the stove and just messiness all over. So this has made such a big difference in our everyday life. Another thing that we're doing is giving him much more food. So at three months, we were only giving him one cup a day, and now we're giving him a cup and a half a day. So that means we're giving him half a cup three different times during the day. And we'll either give him his food during training or during walkings as positive reinforcement, or sometimes we'll just give it to him in his slow feeder. And we got this from TJ Maxx. I think it was $3 and it's perfect for his size. It's specifically for puppies and small dogs. Um, I love the color of it and it helps with digestion and it also keeps him mentally stimulated and trying to work for the food because he is a hunting dog and it kind of does stimulate that natural behavior um, that he does have inside of him. So I'll show you a little bit of some of the training commands that he does know. He did take puppy classes and he just graduated last week. So we have learned a few more things since his three month puppy vlog update. Um, and we really enjoyed the puppy class and we learned a lot and it was nice to be kind of on a structured lesson, I suppose. Um, and he was able to interact with other puppies. So we really like that aspect as well. Wait, wait. So I'm just going to be using some of his breakfast for his positive reinforcement. Um, we will use his breakfast or his lunch or his dinner mostly, which is just the Amazon wag puppy formula. So let's just go ahead and start. Sit. Good, sit. Down. Good, down. Roll over. Roll over. I'll give you that one. Good boy. Roll over is actually really hard for him. I'm not sure why. Um, but it's one of the things that he has most trouble in doing. So it's still something that we are working on. Dutch. 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 Good Dutch. 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 Good Dutch. Sit. Wait. Take it. Wait, wait, dig it. Wait is one of the ones that I love most because it actually forces him to wait. And we don't just use it with food, but we also use it 
with um, him just being by himself. For, so for example, if we leave the room or we go into the kitchen to grab something, we can just tell him to wait um, and he knows that eventually we will come back. Focus. Good focus. Good focus. Focus is another one that I really, really, really like because it is so essential if your dog is running at something or he's in something that he shouldn't be in. If you just tell him to focus, he looks at you directly in the eye. Roll over. Good, roll over. Stay. Come. Good, come. Good boy. Touch. 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 Good boy. You ready to go to the vet? You ready to go to the vet? Where are you going? We're going to the vet. Come on, we gotta go get your pill. Oh my goodness. You're trapped and you're cornered. You're trapped and you're cornered. Got him. Come on, let's go. Let's go. So he's in the car right now, the door is still open, but I wanted to show you that we do use a seatbelt to latch him up. Um, and it's only, I think it's a three foot one, so he can't go very far. And we also have this hammock for the car. And it's great because he can still look over here to see what we're doing. And the sides do pull up if we need them to, but we really just keep them down. But other than that, he's pretty good in the car and he actually likes it. Most times he just sleeps and he stays pretty calm. So that's a good thing. Most times he will just have his head like that. Um, but other times he'll just sleep or lay down, but he's probably going to eat this bone for this whole car ride. So let's go ahead and go to the vet. We had just got back from the vet. Max weighs 13.6 pounds, which is about three more pounds than he did a month ago. So it seems like he's on the right track and he's gaining weight um, at a good rate. So that's really, really good. This is the pill that he got. It's the Sympirica Trio pill. It's just one pill that he takes every 30 days. When I give it to him, I'll just put it like in peanut butter and he'll eat it. So I don't have a problem with that. Um, and that protects against fleas, ticks, and Lyme. And I also got him a refill of this Adaptal Calm on the go collar, which is really meant to soothe and relax your dog in stressful situations. So for him, us leaving him and his separation anxiety is one of the things that really, really stresses him. But this on the go collar um, that I keep on him 24 seven is meant to relax him because the mother dog would normally emit some type of um, scents or hormones or something that relaxes the dog naturally. So this is a natural supplement to relax your dog, but it also has other great uses. Um, for example, it is great for relaxing your dog in loud noises, outdoor fears like other dogs or things like that, boarding, kenneling, and training. So highly recommend. It has worked for us these past 30 days. So good vet trip, good vet trip. Are you sleepy? Are you gonna put yourself to sleep? Also, this really cute shirt says Puppy Love, Save, Rescue, Love. I got it when I went on a little three-day trip with Michael to Boston, and I think the back is literally so cute. I mean, like, just look at it. I hope you can see it all. But it literally is so cute. Um, I love, like, the little rainbows on the back. And Michael got one too, but his is really, really cute too. So this was in Boston. If you're in the Boston area, go ahead and support um, this company. It was only like $20 for a shirt.